Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is James from uh, Guruwi. I'm heading the business for Guruwi India. Uh, first, I would like to give my warm greetings to all the friends there in India. Definitely it's been a difficult time for all of us. Uh, here in China, we would say, uh, judging from the current situation, we have pretty much overcome the coronavirus. So we do hope that India would get over it very soon. By that time, I will be able to visit you again, which I'm very much looking forward to. And uh, so back to the business side, uh, I will take this opportunity to thank all my customers for your continued support. Without your support, we couldn't have made Guru is such a successful brand in India, especially in the commercial and industrial projects. And special thanks goes to Tata Power, Sterling Wilson, Adani, and also Renew Power. So definitely we will be uh, keeping improving our service and products to make you even more satisfied with Guruwi. Okay, so here today I'm standing uh, at Guruwi Exhibition Hall. So with all our culture, network, service network, product portfolio, and uh, energy management uh, solutions displayed here. Okay, so let's go take a look. The here is the first part where we will get started. This is the Goodwill family. So Goodwill uh, see a lot of importance for this uh, uh, talents, which we uh, would consider as the most precious asset for the company. So every year we uh, organize different acti act activities to bring together different teams to create cl close connection between them. And uh, so that will help improve the daily work communication to make it more efficient and effective. Here we will see uh, the spring and autumn outdoor tours the sports matches and this one I want to uh, mention uh, especially that our company has won the best employee award in the city for three years in a row so that pretty much explains how we make our employees love the company and here we will be seeing the Goodwill global team so for now, we have around 60 overseas employees uh, working from uh, different countries. And uh, so every year, we uh, invite them back to the headquarters for two weeks. And during that time, we will help them to uh, get better understanding of the company culture and strategy. And also, we'll be given a lot of trainings on the product. So after that, uh, we will issue the qualification certificate for them. With that, they will be able to give the trainings in their own countries. And here is the football match played between Guruwi China uh, taking on the Guruwi Interna International. It's quite a fair uh, game, I would say, and no doubt Guruwi China won. Okay, here is the next part the Goodwill presence in the global market. So for now, we have uh, 14 offices spread across the globe. The Germany uh, office as the headquarter for Europe and India, uh, that's in Vashi, Mumbai, you would have known that, and all the other offices. So we have the sales team set up there, combined with the service team and also the components uh, kept there, uh, spares also, and uh, repair center maybe, uh, in some countries also. So just to ensure the highest level of satisfaction uh, will be delivered to our customers. And here we come to the uh, product sector. So uh, as a salesperson, I would say, thanks to the brilliant design of the product. So that has literally reduced the difficulty to convince customers when we're doing the sales pitch in front of customers. The 
the unibody cabinet design just to ensure the highest level of IP65 protection. And the aluminum uh, die cast upper cover will give you the, 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 the best impression on the product, the very fantastic look. So in good way, we can uh, generally we can split the product into two categ uh, categories, the on-grid inverters and the hybrid inverters. So for the on-grid inverters here, uh, up, 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 up to here, up till now, here uh, we have the uh, single phase on grid inverters. So from a 700 kilowatt to 3 kilowatt here, this one, you will see the uh, very compact design, just the size of A4 paper. And uh, this, I will mention that that's a very uh, unique design for the high end customers. So with all the fancy features integrated and even the display, that's the colorful display. This again for the general market, three kilowatt up to six single phase, two MPPD. This is a single phase, five kilo up to 10. And three phase starting from here, four kilowatt up to 20 of this size, 25 to 36 kilowatt. And this one, the supermodel, I would say, for Indian market. So thanks to this product, uh, so that's how we uh, can make Goodwe the most popular brand in India CNI sector, the 50 kilowatt, 60 kilowatt, and 100 kilowatt. And uh, okay, so now it comes to the uh, storage sector. So for storage, we have the typical bi-directional uh, hybrid inverter as well as the retrofit device. So the hybrid inverter, we have three kilowatt up to 10 kilowatt and the retrofit. So we have that for the, the AC retrofit and this one that's the, uh, for US market, the, uh, the hybrid inverter for US market. Okay. So now we come to the, the supermodel again. So this is the HT series, uh, 100 kilowatt, 120 uh, for the rooftop, and 250 uh, with 1500 voltage DC. So that's for utility scale projects. Here we have the 12 MPPT with 24 inputs. So that's going to be a a super model again in the market. So that will be available in around two months time. So we, we all will be waiting for that. So let's get to the next part for the energy management system. Okay, this is our energy management system for industry. So let's say 8 a.m. in the morning, so that's the beginning of the day, the energy consumption is not that much, so everything can be supplied from the storage uh, uh, systems actually. So now it comes to uh, 11 a.m., so the power consumption is really big. Then, so the storage system will continue to supply as well as the PV system will be 100% supplied to all the loads. And even you may, because the consumption is big, maybe you need to take some power from the grid. So that's, so all the load consumption will be uh, displayed here. So maybe you can choose to shut down some unnecessary loads just to save the electric electricity bill maybe. Okay, now it comes to 5 p.m. So the, the PV generation is less and also the power load is, power load consumption is less. So uh, yeah, you would stop buying the electricity from the grid. And uh, so the, all the uh, uh, load consumption can be supplied by the uh, storage system. So it's, uh, it's 12 a.m. in the night. Uh, you can charge the energy storage uh, system from the grid because it's off peak hours, right? So the electricity price will not be that much. So in that way, you can save your cost as well. So now 3 a.m. in the morning. 
uh, you can allocate your power to supply other factories and uh, some families as well. So that's we call the allocation of the the smart allocation of the power. So that's the whole concept about our uh, industry uh, energy management system. Okay, let's get to the residential part. Okay, for residential energy management system, uh, we have four, load, uh, four modes actually. We have the working daytime mode, we have the nighttime mode, we have the weekend mode, and we have off-grid mode. So in the uh, working daytime mode means uh, you, you, we are out for work, right? I mean, there, there will not be much uh, energy consumption at home. So then your PV is giving generation, so then through the hybrid inverter, it will feed the power into the grid. So now it's the evening time, we've come back home from work. So then, the, because there was no PV generation by now, then the battery system will discharge to power the uh, household loads. And even during this time, you can choose to charge the the battery through the uh, grid, I mean during off-peak hours. Now we come to the weekend. So during the weekend, people are home, right? So the energy consumption in house will be big. So then the PV power will directly uh, power the, uh, the household uh, loads then through the inverters. Okay, so now the grid is off. Uh, what, how the PV system can help you. So during uh, daytime, the PV system will go through the hybrid inverter to power your, your loads, even without any grid connection. So for the night without grid connection, then the battery will just discharge the power to, to power your, your house uh, hold loads. So that's pretty much about the residential uh, energy management system. And uh, so I want to bring your attention to this uh, unit also. So this one uh, is the uh, all-in-one uh, product we're doing. So that just gives you the ready uh, option for energy storage system. With this single unit, you're pretty much ready with uh, the very advanced uh, concept of uh, uh, doing the energy management in your house. Because back there, the, all the household uh, loads, uh, I mean, you can choose to use our uh, smart plug. So by using the smart plug, you can control the switch on and switch off of different loads, I mean, at different times, because the, the major purpose is to save your electricity bill. So for like, for some loads, you can choose to open, uh, to switch on later in the afternoon, maybe, instead of uh, 11 a.m. when the consumption is at its peak uh, time. So this kind of a, a smart control of the loads will help you uh, to save your electricity bill. And this product, we have the hybrid inverter on the top, then the switch box in the uh, mid uh, middle, then uh, down there, at the bottom, we have the uh, battery box. So, yeah, thank you everyone. That's pretty much about the uh, Goodwe Exhibition Hall. And I'm going to, uh, I'm, uh, just want I to uh, present to you all. Thank you very much for your time. Hello everyone, my name is Lucas from Goodwe Solar Academy. Uh, very nice to be here uh, to introduce our Sena solution to you guys. Uh, actually, normally we need to uh, go to the uh, India uh, several times per year, but this year, you know, uh, uh, the coronavirus problem. So now everything was blocked. So we move to the online. Uh, I hope you guys can enjoy our uh, training later. So I'm going to show my uh, uh, presentation.
Hello, this uh, presentation is for our Senna solution. Let's check. This presentation is the focus on the uh, more uh, generation, less investment, sample O and M, and uh, reliable uh, quality. So let's check what we have. Uh, for the SMT, we have uh, 25 kilowatt, uh, 30 kilowatt, and uh, 36 kilowatt. For the five MPT trackers, we uh, we are going to have uh, 50 kilowatt, 6 kilowatt for the six MPT trackers, and for the MPT series, we have uh, four MPT trackers. But for the MPT series, we have a uh, different uh, uh, product uh, section. For example, for the MPT standard products, we have 50, 60, and uh, 80 kilowatt. But for the uh, HV version, uh, the high voltage version, we have 70 kilowatts, 80 kilowatts. For the PF version, the bifacial modules version, we have 50, 60, and 80 kilowatts. And the HT series is our upcoming product. So it will be released uh, in this May, just uh, the next month. And for the uh, 15 hammers uh, DC input voltage, it will be going to release uh, this. Uh, June, about two months later. And for the HUT series, we have 10 MT truckers, uh, 100 kilowatt, 12 MT truckers, 120 kilowatt. Uh, HUV version, we also have uh, 12 MT truckers, it's 136 kilowatt and 150 kilowatt. And here's the IOV version. IOV version uh, is low voltage on the AC side. So normally it's not uh, uh, it's not popular in India, but it it it, uh, it is very popular in the South Africa uh, countries like Brazil, Mexico. They have the grid and with the low voltage. Uh, so we uh, design this product focus on these uh, countries. So let's skip this slide slide because it's not uh, popular in India. And here are the details for the MT series. Uh, the standard product is 380 kilo, uh, 380 watts on the AC side. It's 50, 60, and 80 kilowatt. So it's very uh, suitable for the commercial rooftop scenario. And also we have uh, 50, uh, 500, 540 uh, grid connect uh, uh, HV version products. So it's uh, 70 kilowatt and 80 kilowatt. So it's very uh, suitable for the ground mounted and the utility scale scenario. And for the PF version, we have 50, 60, and 80 kilowatt. 80 kilowatt is uh, HV version. It's a, a specific design only for the uh, bifacial modules. And also just now I already introduced, we also have the LV version. It's 30, 35 and 50 kilowatt, but it's not used in the India. HT series, we have a standard product, uh, 380 uh, watts, 100 kilowatts, 120 kilowatts. Uh, it's also a specific uh, design for the commercial rooftop scenario. And for the highway uh, uh, HV version, we also have 136, Kilowatt and 150 kilowatt. And here is our uh, also the upcoming product. Is uh, uh, you can see here it's 1500 DC input uh, product. The capacity will be uh, 250 kilowatt, and also it's also uh, 12 MT truckers, and it's the name is HT series. So let's check uh, first one is uh, more years. For the HT series, we have 12 MT truckers. Uh, with HT series, we have 12 MT truckers, just now I already mentioned. Uh, if you have the uh, multiple MT truckers, it's very suitable for the uh, uh, like mounting system. Uh, the mounting system because you know if the uh, panels on the mounting it's a different uh, title, different uh, uh, orientations, 
So it's suitable for the multiple or empty truckers. If you use central in water, it's, it's a disaster. And also if your uh, modules has some problems like uh, hot spot, different title, and just not already mentioned, different title and different orientations. And also like the, if the panel is very dirty, uh, a lot of dust on the panels, shading and the mismatch, you know, because uh, not all the modules are totally different. It's also have some tolerance uh, with, with each other. So it's uh, easy to have the mismatch problem. So uh, if you have uh, the panels has this problem, so it's better to use uh, multiple or empty truckers uh, in waters like our HT series, 12 empty truckers. Here is a uh, multi C power from the modules. Uh, for our product, we maximum we support 50% DC oversize capacity. So that means, uh, for example, if the water is 100 kilowatt, and um, on the DC side, maximum you can connect 150 kilowatt. So you can, uh, because now DC oversize is very popular in a lot of countries. So if you connect more panels on the this side, you can save some uh, investment on the uh, whole system. So that's why more and more customers, they want to uh, have uh, more uh, value on the DC oversize. For our product, we can support uh, maximum is uh, 50 DC oversize ability for our HT series. But for another, another brand, um, uh, I think it's around uh, 10 to 30 percent. And here is uh, AC uh, overload. For our product, uh, maximum we can support 15 AC overloading on the AC side. So that means, for example, here you can find this slide. For example, if the in water capacity is one megawatt, but on the DC side, maximum the water can output 1.1, 1.1, 1.15 uh, megawatt on the DC side. So we can get more generation on the AC side. And here is 1100 DC uh, input voltage. So here uh, you can find here if the water uh, can support maximum. Uh, 1100 DC input voltage. That means you can connect two more modules on the uh, on each string. So that means you will save some cost on the uh, mounting system, uh, DC cables like this. And here it's uh, start voltage. So for the MT series, the start voltage is only 200 watts. So that means uh, compared to another brand, another brand may be uh, 300, uh, 500. So if the water start voltage is only 200 watts, so that means you can get more uh, generation on the early morning and the late evening. So the uh, generation difference is about 03 to 0.5%. And here is our uh, main feature like uh, compared to another brand. So you can find here, uh, uh, our in water will uh, directing from 50 degrees, 50 degrees. So if the, in water, uh, if the temperature is lower than 50 degrees, the in water will, uh, the gluey in water will output normally without uh, directing. But uh, if you use another brand without fans, no fans inside, so the water will start directing. You can you can find the uh, the blue curve. The water will start uh, directing from 20 degrees, and uh, at the uh, 50 degrees, the water uh, generation, the water output will decrease a lot. So here, this feature I think is very important in India because India uh, the weather the temperature is very high the whole year. So if you choose the wrong uh, in water brand, so you will get a lot of generation loss because of the high temperature. And for our all the CNI products like MT series and the HT series, uh, we can support, we can compatible with the bifacial modules because for example, for our BF version, 
just now already mentioned the BF version of the MT series. So on DC side, maximum we can support 15 amps on each string, on each string. So that means, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, in the market now, uh, normally the bifacial uh, modules, the output cu current is around uh, 11 amps, maximum up to uh, uh, 12.5 amps, but the water can accept uh, 15 amps. So that means our uh, inverter can compatible with the bifacial modules. You, so that means you can get more uh, generation on the DC, DC side. But if we use the normal inverter to uh, work with the bifacial modules like uh, the up uh, imager, uh, the, the bifacial module uh, current is 20 uh, is 12.5 uh, amps, but the inverter only accept 11 amps. So the DC input current will limit to 11 amps. So you will get the uh, power loss on the DC, DC side. So that's a big loss, actually. So this part is about uh, the less investment if you use Kudui product. So let's check. Uh, so here is, uh, this slide is about uh, the uh, SPD, the shoulder protection device. So for our product, um, the standard uh, SPD on the DC and the AC side is type two. And also not only the DC and the AC side, we have the SPD, but also uh, on the communication board, we also have the type three SPD. But if, you're, uh, if you choose another brand, uh, uh, only type three SPD on the DC side, in some countries, you must have the type two uh, SPD on the DC side of the system. So if the inverter doesn't have the S, uh, type two SPD on the DC side, so you must buy the external uh, stream box. So that's also the uh, ex, uh, additional cost for the installers to buy, to for also for the end users to buy the stream box on the DC side. So that's the cost for the customer also. But if you buy the inverter like Kudui, already have the type two SPD on the uh, each string of the DC side. So you don't need to buy the uh, stream box between the uh, panels and the inverter. So that means you can save some investment on the DC side. Here is uh, about uh, NTPRD. Um, I think the ATPID is also a serious problem in the India because India is also just already mentioned it's very hot and very uh, humid, especially on the in the summer. So if you don't use the bifacial modules, you don't use uh, uh, the two glasses uh, modules, just the normal modules. So it's very easy to have the PID problem. So uh, if you award, if you want to award the PID problem, so it's better you order the pro or you order the water already integrate the NTPID board inside. Like could we we integrate the NTPID board inside, so you don't need to buy the external uh, box. So at the night, if you already have the existing water uh, already have the NTPID board inside. So at the night, the water will get the power from the AC side and give the uh, reverse uh, voltage to each panel to fix the NTPRD problem happened in the daytime. And here is uh, the AC cable uh, saving solutions. A lot, I think everybody want to save the cost on the cables. So I uh, introduced some solutions to save the AC cables cost. For example, uh, for our MT series, also the HT series, uh, the neutral cable is optional. So you don't, need to, you don't need to connect the neutral cable on the AC side. So that means you can save about 25% uh, percent AC cable cost. And also, uh, if you, you know, the Kufu cable is much more expensive than aluminum cable. So if you want to aluminum cable uh, on the AC side, that's fine. Because for example here, HT series, maximum we can support 250 mini square meters. So you can use the aluminum cable because AC 
uh, connect uh, the AC uh, cover, the size is much bigger than the aluminum cable you, you want to use. And here is a, a dynamic reactive power compensation. So as you know, if you install the PV system on the, uh, for example, on a factory, so the PF will drop a lot. For example, uh, drop from the 19% uh, to 80% to uh, maybe even to the 70%. So the owner of the factory will ask you to, to do the uh, reactive, reactive power compensation for his factory. Because if the PF drop a lot, that's, uh, that's the trouble, that's the problem for him. So uh, for our product, you can actually, you can uh, set the PF value on the, in the display or even uh, uh, in our app. So the, for the active power range is from uh, minus 0 0.8 to uh, positive 0 0.8. So that means reactive power uh, range will be from uh, minus 0 0.6 to positive 0 0.6. And also it's dynamic. So that means it's not a static, it's dynamic. So it's will, the inverter uh, reactive power output will be, uh, will be uh, same as the uh, loads consumption. So you don't need to set the reactive power. You don't need to set the PF value uh, manually. So the, the, if you use our uh, uh, product, if you use our SCC 1000 uh, box, so this box will uh, ad, 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 adjust the PF value automatically. And here is a simple O and M. Let's take. So the first one is um, for our product, uh, the MT series and also the HT series. Uh, the display is optional, so you can choose the inverter with display or without display. So if you choose the inverter with the display, so you can make the configuration, you can make the parameter setting in the display. But if you choose the inverter without the display, we also have the app. The name is Solo Go. You can download from the um, uh, uh, iOS and also uh, App Store, uh, Play Store, the Solo Go. So you can use the Solo Go to make the uh, parameter setting and also the configuration for the non-display inverters. And also for our product, it's block uh, design. So that means you can remove uh, each part from the uh, inverter. So it's very convenient and very easy for installers, for the O&M people to do the maintenance, to do the repair. So you don't need to replace the whole unit. You just need to remove the boards, the problem boards, and replace the new board for the inverter. So it, then you can fix the problem. And uh, for our uh, MT series and also HT series, we can uh, support uh, various monitoring solutions, like we can support the Wi-Fi communication, the LAN communication, and also the 4G. 4G communication is on the way, so it will be released on the, uh, in the, I think it should be in the July. And also uh, uh, for the big plant, we also have the RS-45 communication. For the RS-45, you can use our data logger, the easy log plot, and also uh, you can connect to the uh, connect the multiple uh, units to our SCC 1000. So SCC 1000 not only for the monitoring, you also can do the uh, export power limit, and also just now already mentioned the reactive power compensation. And uh, uh, if you want to do the PLC communication. It's okay. Um, our MT series and also HT series uh, supports the PLC communication. So you can use our SCB 2000 uh, to do the PLC communication. And also we already have uh, uh, a lot of uh, real cases all over the world of the PLC communication, like in India, uh, India and also 
in the um, uh, Turkey, in the Korea, in the Europe, some countries. And here is the uh, optical fiber uh, communication. So here is like, uh, if you have the big plant, for example, 10 megawatt, 20 megawatt, the transformer station, the distance between the transformer station is very long. It's already more than uh, 1,000 meters. So you can't use the IS-45 uh, cable to connect uh, the trans uh, transformer stations. So in this case, we have SCB 2000, uh, with optical fiber, so you can connect uh, uh, each transformer station with uh, op optical fiber. So if you use optical fiber uh, cable, so the maximum distance can reach up to 20 kilometers. And uh, in this case, the uh, maximum we can support uh, 40 inverters can connect to each SAB 2000. And here is our uh, Goodway Sims dashboard. So it's, uh, the dashboard is in our uh, Sims uh, portal. So normally, if, for example, if we have the uh, big factory, you have a big plant, and you want to show your uh, uh, peer plant to your visitors, so you can use this uh, dashboard. Uh, let my uh, colleague, Simon, will introduce details for the dashboard. And also we will show you the video uh, how to play the dashboard in our Sims portal later. And here uh, is uh, open API. Um, because some uh, customers, they want to use their own server. They want to use their own uh, monitoring platform. So we can, we can provide the open API protocol to the customers. So that means the customer can get the data from the, our server to their server. And here is a, a party monitoring device uh, compatibility. Uh, for our products uh, on Tutunang, uh, we uh, already support some third party monitoring device like uh, uh, so lock and multi control. So these two uh, brands are very popular in uh, all over the world. And uh, if you uh, if you are if you are the EPC customers and you not only use Goodway and uh, but also some another brands, you want to uh, monitoring all the uh, brands in the same uh, monitoring platform. So you can choose to use this uh, third party monitoring device and our products are already compatible with these uh, brands. And also we can support the scanner. Um, so some customers not, o not only want to monitor uh, the PV plant, they also want to control the PV plant. So some customers, they choose the scanner uh, device like uh, uh, the controller to connect to, to the, our uh, uh, data logger, EasyLog Pro. And our EasyLog Pro already uh, integrate IEC uh, 104 protocol. So that means our data logger can communicate with us, uh, this uh, standard uh, devices to communicate and also accept uh, the uh, control from these devices. And here is a weather station. Um, if you want to use the weather station and want to show the weather station value in our Sims portal, uh, no problem because our EasyLog Pro has a, a one COM port to connect to the third party device like a weather station. In our EasyLog Pro, we have uh, four or COM ports. The first three COM ports connect to the inverters and each port, each COM port maximum we can connect 20 inverters. So that means for each EasyLog Pro, maximum we can support 60 inverters. Okay, 60 inverters. And then the last one, the fourth, the fourth one, the last one, the uh, comport, only designed for the uh, third party device like the weather station. So if your weather station already have uh, Modbus RTO protocol, so this weather station can communicate with our uh, data logger automatically and the 
weather station that we will show in you know, our Sims portal automatically. And here is a remote uh, diagnose and a remote shutdown. Um, actually, we uh, designed this uh, function only for the India, the remote uh, shutdown. Um, you can use RS-45 cable, connect each in water hand by hand. And the last one, uh, connect to the one uh, brick or one button. So if, the, if your plant, peer plant has some problem like the fire, uh, so you just need to push the button so the inverters will be shut down automatically and then immediately. And it's very fast. I think it's less than uh, 200 million uh, seconds. Here is the installa installation. Uh, we uh, support uh, uh, various, uh, various mounting solutions like uh, independent installation, uh, light down installation, wall mounting installation, and also here is uh, uh, mounting with shed. So you can find here uh, multiple uh, installation wise. And here is the uh, AC connector temperature detection. Actually, it's the uh, optional uh, function of the Goodway. So if you want to use this function, you need to, the, you need to order the water with this function. It's optional. So we have the sensor on the uh, uh, AC side. So this sensor will detect the AC connector temperature. So if the temperature of the AC connector is higher than our uh, uh, limitation, the water will be shut down automatically and immediately to protect the AC connector and also to avoid the fire uh, problem. And here is uh, FCR. So uh, in the past, we actually we already have the generation generation one uh, FCR function for our product, but but also it's a, a optional function. And uh, now we are working on the uh, generation two uh, FCR, so it will be uh, more accurate and more, uh, and it will be faster than the generation one. Um, I don't know whether uh, whether you guys know the uh, FCR function. Uh, so here I just uh, uh, introduce uh, uh, simply. So we can find here if the cables. All the connectors between the uh, panels uh, have some problems like uh, loose. So the connectors connection is not so uh, tight. Uh, and also uh, the connection is not good. Uh, if the uh, inverter working for the long time, for example, uh, several years uh, later, so the, the temperature in the uh, temperature in the connector will be higher. For example, if the in water output is very high and temperature is very high, so the temperature here, if the connection is not good here, the temperature here is also very high. So it's very easy to have the fire accident. But if the in water has a, a FCR detection, so the in water will detect uh, the problem here. So the in water will uh, shut down, will shut down to avoid the fire accident here. So it's very, uh, I think it's very useful for the rooftop system. And also the FCR uh, function is more uh, popular in a lot of countries like in the, uh, Europe, like in the Holland. Uh, if you don't, if, the, if your system doesn't have the FCR, uh, the uh, insurance company will, will not uh, give you the uh, guarantee. So that's why a lot of customers that ask this function in Europe. Now this part is about uh, reliable uh, quality. Let's check. Okay, the first one is a full film capacitor inside. So for our MT series, uh, also HT series, you can find the inside of our product, the picture of here. We only use the film capacitor inside okay we only use a film capacitor we don't use electronic uh electronic tech capacitor inside because the film capacitor the lifetime is is much more is much longer than 
electron tech capacitor, especially uh, in the hot weather. So uh, for the India market, uh, the customer need to uh, pay attention to this uh, components inside because uh, if you, you if the in water uh, with if the in, if the in water integrate with uh, electronic type capacitor, so the laugh time will be will de will be decreased a lot in the hot weather. Now this one is the four uh, one one zero certified. Uh, for our MT series. Uh, actually, this certificate is very, very difficult to get. Um, a lot of you know, water manufacturers want to get this certificate because uh, this actually this, this certificate is only for the Germany uh, market. In the Germany market, if the system uh, capacity is more than 135 kilowatt, so your in water must have the, this certificate. But this certificate is very difficult to get it. But uh, Goodway uh, in water, Goodway MT series is the first one, first one in water uh, brand to get this certificate by the TUV. And here is about like uh, the two protections, like uh, for the, we have many, uh, to protections in our uh, components design. For example, the DSP, the digital signal processor, we have two DSPs inside. One is master uh, DSP, another one is a slave DSP. So if the master uh, DSP is broken, is shut down, the slave DSP will uh, work automatically. And also the uh, same for the AC relay, we have two relays on the AC side. So one uh, value, another one start to work automatically. AC relay is very important for the O&M o &M, o &M, uh, guy to do the maintenance. And also we have uh, a lot of uh, tests uh, coupled with the third party com uh, companies like IP65 test, temperature test, noise test, vibration test, hard test and also the uh, salt spray test. Here is the, some test in our uh, protection line, like ATS test is 100% test. That means each in water we uh, need to do this test. Uh, the ATS, ATS test actually is to, to test uh, the communication, to test uh, the country code, to make sure uh, each in water works uh, normally before delivered to the customers. And uh, ne uh, next one is the aging test. So before uh, package, before uh, the in water delivery to the customers, the in water will be put into the room, uh, the room, uh, the aging room, the room temp temperature is 45 degrees. And the in water in this room will work at least uh, eight hours to make sure the in water everything is fine. Then we will take out the water from this room and the package and deliver it to the customers. And for our product slide, we already get the ISO 09001 certificate. So that's the basic uh, requirement for the product line. And also we have the anti-static plant to make sure the no damage for the key components. So here's some, uh, the last part is some features of our HT series. So let's check. So our HT series is a three phase and uh, uh, 10 to 12 MD truckers. The capacity is from 100 to, uh, to 50 kilowatt. And here is some features like uh, the BF uh, modules, the bifacial modules, uh, compatibility, uh, string level monitoring, uh, 50 degrees full load operation. So here is very important for India. And also uh, the FCR, AC uh, connector temperature detection, internal uh, humidity uh, detection, anti-PRD, PRD repair, 
Bluetooth uh, commissioning, and uh, here is type one SPD optional. So for HT series, uh, the SPD, uh, the standard uh, standard uh, SPD is type two, but uh, you can choose type one. So yeah. type one SPD is optional. And here is uh, uh, compatible with the tracking system to get more generation. So our uh, HT series will uh, 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 supply the power to the tracking system and also can communicate with the tracking system. So later we will check the uh, real product. I will show you uh, where is the communication port on the MT uh, on the HT series. And here is uh, 24 hours uh, monitoring. Um, for HT series, it's different with MT series. MT series only can be uh, power up with DC power. But for the HT series, we support both, okay, the DC and the AC power supply. So that means even at the night, you can use AC power to power up the HT series. So that means you can get the whole day monitoring, 24 hours monitoring. And also at night, you can use AC power to power up the inverter. And also you can to do uh, some uh, monitoring work, uh, maintenance work on, at the night. For example, if in the daytime, it's not, it's not uh, uh, convenient to do, the uh, to do the maintenance. So you can uh, wait uh, until to the night. At night, you can use AC power to uh, power up the HT series. And, but the water will not uh, uh, generate. So the water only power up and you can make some uh, power meter setting. You can to do the configuration. You can to do the uh, firmware update. And here is a, a fault record and a USB uh, flash disk uh, update. Um, because for in the past, for example, our MT series. If you don't, if you don't, don't to do the uh, monitoring, but if the water broken, so you can't know the history that from the water. But for the HT series, you can download the photo that from the water, even the water doesn't to do the monitoring. And also, uh, we can support the uh, USB stick uh, update. So you just need to upload the firmware to the USB disk and uh, uh, just uh, plug the USB disk to the inverter and the inverter will update the firmware automatically. Um, after the firmware update, you can remove the USB disk the stick. And here is same with the uh, uh, MT series uh, the monitoring like Wi-Fi monitoring, LAN monitoring, 4G communication, uh, IS-45 communication, and also the POC uh, communication. Okay, uh, the last uh, part is for our, uh, some is actually some uh, case reference. The first one is uh, uh, 750 kilowatt in the uh, uh, SND tram factory, China. So this factory is very close to our old factory. Now we already removed the new factory. Uh, this factory, the uh, tram, this tram factory is very close to our old factory. And uh, you can see the uh, in water is uh, installation is here. Actually, the inst the in water installation is not uh, is not so good for the for this system. Because you can see that this in water is an independent installation. So, for example, if the sun in the morning, if the sun rise, so the sun uh, sunshine will go through the in water, and the the in water will generate the shadow on the on the panels. So that means the in water will will get will make the power loss. So in this system, we advise the customer to make the lie down installation, lie down installation. So that, mean, that means make the water lie down on this uh, 
rooftop. So that, that will avoid the shadow problem. And this one is the, um, at Hamburg Kilowatt in the CRRC factory, China. So this factory is very, uh, actually is very famous in China because this factory is uh, to, to prod product, this, its product is a high speed train in China. So it's very uh, famous. Now this one is the 800 kilowatt in China also. And you, you can find the shed uh, on the, uh, in waters to avoid the direct uh, sunshine and also to avoid internal temperature too high. Two megawatt in China, just, uh, just have a look. 2.4 megawatt also in China. Five megawatt in Shandong province of China, 25 megawatt in Shanxi province. So here is a mounting system. So in this, uh, in this case, uh, it's better to use the uh, stream waters. So if you use the uh, central in water, it's, uh, it will be a disaster. Now this, this one is a uh, 42.8 megawatt also in China. Two megawatt in uh, Korea, South Korea, LG project. Five megawatt in Korea. Okay, this one is uh, four megawatt in India. Uh, it's a uh, Bosch uh, factory. This uh, this system uh, was installed in. Uh, it's installed. Uh, was installed by Tata Group. So here, thanks to the Tata. And this one is also in India. It's a uh, four megawatt. It's a Siemens factory. India, uh, six megawatt. Here's six megawatt in Holland. 10 megawatt also in Holland. 11 megawatt in Holland. Six megawatt in Turkey. Six megawatt in Istanbul, also in Turkey. And here is our uh, MT uh, generation one. So it's old product. And this product, uh, this project, um, I think is all already five years, five years ago. And this one is a 16 megawatt in Turkey. 18 megawatt also in Turkey. So uh, that's all. Thank you for your time. So now I'm checking the uh, questions from uh, from the audience. So the first one is uh, what's the benefit to uh, having display uh, less in water? Okay, so it's uh, like a non-display uh, in water. Um, Actually, um, if you have a big plant, like it's the mounting, uh, it's, a, it's a wall mount, uh, it, if it's the ground mounted system or it's the utility scale uh, uh, system, it's a big plant, it's not the rooftop system. Uh, for the rooftop system, we advise the customer to use the water with display. But uh, if your system is the uh, ground mounted system or the utility scale uh, system, a lot of in waters on the site, and uh, you don't uh, actually. It's it's in, it's uh, impossible to ask your you guys to check the waters on site every day. So in this case, we advise customer to use the non-display in water. And, and with the non-display uh, in water, you can save some uh, cost on the display, and also uh, the display also have the lifetime. So if your system is uh, uh, outside, uh, it's outdoor uh, installation. Uh, so the temperature is very high, so it's not good for the display lifetime. So use, in this case, like uh, the ground mounted system or utility scale system, we advise the customer to use a non-display in water. 
Okay, the next one is uh, uh, remote turning off is available to customer access. Yes, just now already uh, mentioned, uh, the remote uh, shutdown function is a local uh, function. So you just need to connect uh, uh, all the inverters to one brick or to one button. So if the uh, imagine uh, problem happened like fire uh, accident, so we just need to push the button or turn off the brake. So the order in waters will be shut down. Let me check link, uh, the next one. Uh, how to install it, uh, ground, mounted, uh, ground, uh, ground mount. Okay, um, for this question, actually, uh, you can download our uh, user menu uh, in our website. So you can check how to install our inverters. So here, uh, I, don't, uh, I will not introduce uh, too much. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, when this overloading, uh, does it increase the surface temperature of the inverter? No, no. So, uh, Definitely no, okay. Okay, the next one is, uh, is aging test done on full load or something else? Okay, uh, in our aging room is 45 degrees and also it's a full load operation. For example, if the water is 50, uh, 50 kilowatt, so the water will uh, generate, will output 50 kilowatt. Uh, at, uh, continuous uh, eight hours on, on, in our aging room. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you. So next step, uh, we will check our uh, real product, the HT series, and also our uh, MT series. So here is our uh, HT series. Uh, it's a it's a big guy. Okay, it's a big guy. And here you can find a lot of uh, DC connectors, and here is the DC uh, switch. So we have four DC switch. Uh, uh, the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. So the first one you can find this DC switch for uh, one, two, three. So one, two, three means uh, one amp charger to uh, three amp chargers. So this is this is this uh, DC switch is for the. Uh, First one, second one, and uh, third one. Uh, first one, second one, and third one, empty truckers. And this one is from, uh, this is the switch for four to six. And this one is from seven to nine. And this one is from 10 to 12. Okay, so the DC switch, we also have uh, 12 empty truckers. For each empty trucker, we have two DC inputs. So that means you can connect uh, two strings for each empty trucker. And uh, in total, we have uh, 12 empty truckers. And here is uh, the camera. So camera, you can connect to the Wi-Fi, you can connect the 4G, you can connect uh, Bluetooth to do the uh, commissioning, to do the monitoring. And here is the Bristol web, Bristol web. This one is the booster web. So this one is, is to make the balance, make the balance between the internal uh, temperature, internal pressure, uh, and the external uh, outside temperature and outside uh, pressure. So it's a booster uh, web. And here's a COM4, COM2 and COM3. Here's a COM2 and COM3. So COM2 and COM3 is used for the uh, RS-25 uh, communication, uh, communication. And here is a COM4 and COM5. COM4 and COM5 is used to the uh, communication, uh, communication with the uh, uh, tracking, uh, tracking system. And here is our uh, AC cable box, AC cable box. So you can find L1, L2, L3, and here the neutral line. So for the each, uh, for the L1, L2, L3, uh, maximum we can support uh, 250 million square meters. 
And here you can find the AC break, breaker. So AC breaker is optional. So that means you can choose a water with the AC breaker or without the AC breaker. So that's our uh, uh, HT series. So it will be released very soon uh, in, the, in May and also in, the, in the July. So next one, we will, uh, next one we will introduce the MT series. So here is our uh, MT series. MT series is uh, smaller than HT series. The capacity is from 50 kilowatt to 80 kilowatt. And then we have four uh, MT truckers. Four MT truckers. And for each MT trucker, uh, we have three DC inputs. So we also have the uh, fuels on each phase. Uh, uh, sorry, on each string. And here is us part five uh, communication. And here is the Wi-Fi communication. Here is the GPS uh, communication. And here is AC uh, connector. Here the AC cable uh, connection and port. So let's check. So we can connect uh, the L1, L2, L3, neutral uh, cable, and also the phone cable in this part. So we can have, we have the AC power connect here, and then this uh, this size the maximum we can support ninety five mini square meters. Okay, for the uh, MT series, this one is a display has a display, and here we have two we have two PC switch. And in our uh, box, we also will supply the MC4 uh, DC connectors. So we already have uh, this one, uh, three, three. We have 12 uh, pairs DC connectors in our box already. And this one's, uh, let me check. Okay, this one's GPS, GPS uh, module. If you order the water, it's Wi Fi. In the box, we, all, we also have the Wi-Fi module here. So, okay, guys, um, thank you very much. Later, uh, uh, we will show the video about our uh, PLC communication. Motors has been used. For monitoring, we used SCB2000 box, which is for communication without any data cable, like RS485. In this power plant, we use PLC communication method. With this method, we need one SCB2000 box. Let's see what's inside of the SCB2000. Here, the AC cable comes from the low voltage side of the transformer. And this AC cable directly comes to the PLC board. And this PLC board connected with our Easy Lover Pro. For power up this box, we need 220 volt cables. And this box also needs the router. And here, our router, you can see, we get the internet connection with this box. Here we have 220 volt AC cables for powering up the box and for internet connection. Here the Ease Loggers connection side and this cable comes to our router here. And to getting internet, we have this device. So this device gets the internet and we have a LAN cable. We can see historical and real-time data with mobile app and SAMS portal website. Here we can see the overview of plant at the main dashboard. I already mentioned that we don't use any data cable for monitoring thanks to SCB2000. But what would happen if we didn't use SCB2000 communication method? First of all, for this 3 megawatt project, you would have to purchase at least 2,000 meters of RS-485 cable plus 
accessories like a corrugated pipe for underground cabling and also extra labor costs would be added. Installation costs would higher at bigger projects. In the future there is a risk to loss of connection because of damage and abrasion. And also data cable requires maintenance time to time which make another cost in the future. But we saved all these costs by choosing SCB2000. Thank you for watching us and see you in the next video. Hello, I'm Simone from Goodway Sona Academy. Um, so before I start sharing about uh, Goodway Monitor Solution, can you test my voice is okay? Is it clear for you? Uh, please write your response in chat tab. I'll just uh, wait three seconds. Okay, thank you. My voice is clear. So, um, my colleague Lucas just uh, present our Goodway solution about C and I uh, applications in a row. And I, then I see from the chat that you have you many of you have interest in Goodway monitoring solution. So. Let me let's allow me to introduce Goodway uh, monitoring solution. So I will first share my presentation, my screen to you all. Okay, here is my presentation, and so I'm introducing about Goodway monitoring solution. Uh, the solution Goodway provides is a complete solution. Uh, so I can. I'm gonna introduce from the inverter side and then to the data logger side, then to, to Goodway PV monitoring system, that is SANS. So first I'm gonna start with uh, the communication options available from the inverter side. Okay, as you know, in the PV system, inverter is like a, PV, a CPU, it, is, it is processing all data from each self inside, from PV arrays, from grid, and from the external devices such as weather station sensors. And it sends, it sends the data to a receiver that is called a data logger to, for the data collection and then it will transfer to, the, to a server, server uh, which, which um, contains mass data and then the mass data will be presented on a platform that is called in PV plant monitoring platform. So, uh, but it requires a, communi uh, a communication methods to transport such data. Now we have uh, technologies such as Wi-Fi, LAN, 4G, IS485, PLC, and other, and other uh, methods coming. So um, now, um, currently, uh, Goodway provides offers uh, communication methods, including Wi-Fi, LAN, 4G, PLC, RS-485, Bluetooth, and so. But which ones are the best for for household scenarios, and which ones are best for say? A commercial and industrial scenarios. Um, so my recommendation is Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi, LAN, 4G for household project, and IS485 PLC Bluetooth, and 4G for commercial and industrial projects. Because when you when you install a PV plant in your household on your first, on the rooftop of your house then you definitely have a, a good communication uh, devices such in many cases, like in China, every house have a Wi-Fi router. So it, it is the best choice to connect Wi-Fi and line communication because uh, you, you already have the communication devices. You just uh, connect inverter to your household router, Wi-Fi router. So, and that, uh, the cost of that part will be saved and it is very easy to install. 
And but for commercial projects, uh, there are many data for the, there are many data, and then the project may covers covers a larger area, and it, it may take it may need. Uh, and there is a higher requirement on the uh, security and uh, the the security the secure communication uh, and transmission of your data. Then uh, the uh, the the wired communication like RS-485 is recommended. But PLC is more economic because you it will save you uh, extra communication cables. So you do not have to uh, put uh, your engineers in the project to, to uh, install RS, uh, install communication cables, and you just uh, use the PLC. You just install a, an extra device. Like uh, in in good way solution, we we will require SCB2000 to have PLC communication. Bluetooth, Bluetooth is uh, it is a new type of Technology and uh, it is very stable, but the communication distance is very limited compared that to Wi-Fi or NAN communication. So all in all, Wi-Fi NAN 4G is recommended for household uh, solar project, and RS485 PLC Bluetooth and 4G is rec are recommended for commercial and industrial project. So this is a map about uh, what Goodway is offering for uh, the, the communication options Goodway is offering for our on-grid inverters. So we have first uh, for on-grid, uh, in the on-grid families, we have XX, DSS, and S, and, and up to, and to the, uh, which will up, uh, and then the, the, the the next one is HT service. Uh, it it is not in mass production yet, but it will come soon. And so I include uh, the communication options in the of HT service in the map as well. So as you can see, in all over service uh, on grid inverters have Wi-Fi communication option, and most of inverters have RS four eight five communication option. And uh, Bluetooth is just for our very new products like accessories and uh, SDTG, uh, MS series, SDTG2 series. And uh, for our very, um, uh, for uh, flagship product DSS series. So PLC, PLC uh, is used, PLC is used actually in larger project uh, which uh, which you have the project, have the PV plant, the energy of the PV plant are uh, many fed into the grid and not for self consumption. So uh, if you want to use PLC communication, first you cannot have any node on the uh, AC, on the AC side of your uh, PV plant. There should be no node consumption from your PV system. Uh, so PV, uh, PLC is uh, used in SMT, MT, and HT series. And 4G, 4G is also a very new product, new technology, and we are we are planning to use it in X series and M NS, DNS series. So uh, if you because uh, 4G uh, tech, 4G options also need you need to input a SIM card. Um, so some of you have uh, already mentioned in uh, the group chat that uh, if a SIM card is required, yes, it is required. Um, and uh, actually, it depends on the supplies in your country. Uh, so if you want to know if it is uh, economic or the data trans transmission is stable or not. But, but right now, we are providing this solution. And for our energy storage uh, inverter families, we all of the store uh, inverters have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G, LAN uh, communication options. So uh, as you know, Bluetooth and uh, 4G are very new technology. We haven't implement, uh, implement this solution to, uh, 
uh, complexity into the inverter. That means if you have others and you definitely require Bluetooth or 4G communication, yes, we can provide that uh, solution to you. But currently, it is not in the map of mass production. Uh, <clears throat> and for uh, another point I have, I have to mention is our EH series, ET series, and BT series, and ESA series, uh, BH series, sorry, BH series. Uh, they will have Wi-Fi plus non-communication uh, more options. Uh, what do I mean? Uh, that means you have one uh, commu communication module, and um, but you can switch to uh, Wi-Fi. But if you are tired of Wi-Fi communication, you can just switch to non-communication. So that is depends on your choice. So and actually, it saves uh, the cost. Of, the cost of transport because uh, sometimes your customer just ask for Wi-Fi communication, but uh, some other customers ask for a non-communication. But later they may change their mind. They want uh, they want to change into another communication. So um, so currently we have Wi-Fi plus line communication cable for EH, EP, BH, BH, BT service. Uh, next, I'm going to introduce the data collection and transmission process. So uh, I'm going to introduce Wi-Fi LAN and other communication, how they works um, in, uh, in visual. So uh, first, in you have uh, installed PV panels on the rooftop. Uh, uh, first, I'm introduce Wi-Fi and LAN communication. And it is also a called a monitoring solution. Uh, on the rooftop of your house, you have PV modules installed. And uh, on the top layer of your house, you just uh, install a inverter. And uh, the data, the data of your PV plant are uh, generated inside the uh, inverter. And how how the data uh, transmitted to a monitoring platform. So. You have two options here, uh, which uh, uh, which are both good, but there are differences. So, for the Wi-Fi communication, uh, you have Wi-Fi option. Uh, that is wireless distance. There is the effective transmission distance is uh, less than 50, 50 meters. But for for LAN with cable communication, the the effect the efficient communication distance is less than 100 meters. So, if you want, uh, if where you have or where you, your inverter is stored uh, into the Wi-Fi router is very uh, far, you can choose non-communication. Moreover, if there is blocks in the uh, transmission uh, of data, you can just use none. None is more secured. Uh, uh, transmission uh, method. But uh, if you want to definitely want to choose Wi-Fi uh, option, you can just uh, add a uh, signal repeater uh, to expand the signal, uh, the, the, to make your signal strong, to go through the walls and to go through the blocks. So you have a, a security transmission link. So uh, the data are be linked to the router, and the router will be transmitted uh, to our server, and then our monitoring platform that is called SAMS Portal will present the data in uh, graphically and uh, in diagrams, and you can also have many good pictures. Later, I will just uh, specifically introduce SAMS Portal. And then Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a, it is a communication method. It is not for monitoring. So first, I have to uh, mention that. Um, so when you have in, uh, inverter with Wi-Fi with Bluetooth uh, modules installed onto the inverter, that means you can 
and the inventory is uh, without a local display, then you can use your mobile phone and connect. Uh, open it's, it is very easy. You just uh, open the Bluetooth sharing and you find the signal from the inverter, and then you can do commi commissioning. So it is uh, time saving compared it to the Wi Fi com commissioning method. But the data have to uh, but the data have to be uh, transmitted through the Wi-Fi router and then to uh, server then to our monitoring platform. So uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, can monitoring. You can have monitoring with or Bluetooth for a very short term, but for long term, it is not recommended. You uh, need other methods like Wi-Fi or LAN like that. But uh, Bluetooth is good if you have uh, many inverters to do to do communication. You can just use your mobile phone to do the communication very commissioning very soon, very quickly. Mm. Next day is our new uh, option, a 4G monitoring solution. So any inverter uh, integrated with 4G communication, it can, uh, uh, you, you can just uh, buy a SIM card to, uh, to, to transmit your data to the to Goodways monitoring platform, and then you, you can monitor your system online and at your home. But for C, uh, it requires uh, there is communication base around yeah around the project. So, but but, but you know the communication dis distance is very long. As long as there is communication communication base around your project, it is good. As for a five project, uh, communicate monitoring solution. So um, you know. In commercial projects, uh, I mean, there are many inverters, and uh, and you I you may install the inverter in on the rooftop of the facility, and then then it is a very it is a it is a good choice if you use RS four eight five a communication option because um, as you know. Uh, our, this communication method is very stable and it is proved uh, uh, in the industry. And, and then, but RS-485 uh, communication needs um, a good way data logger. It's called H Nogger Pro uh, to do the data collection and data transmission. Uh, the maximum uh, number of inverters H Nogger Pro can collect is uh, 60, 60 units of inverters. Uh, but if you need more functions like uh, reactive power compensation or node, common, node monitoring uh, option, you can use our SEC, SEC 1000 and SCB 1000. And SCB 1000 can be used to uh, help you to form a communication ring with fiber cables. So you will have double secured communication link. Uh, yes, uh, I see someone is asking, is it possible to push the monitoring data from Goodway Cloud to customer server? Yes, it is. Uh, we, use, we use Open API to uh, transfer data from Goodway server to non-Goodway server. It is okay. And next I'm introducing is PLC monitoring solution. Uh, PLC, what PLC stands for is power nine K power nine communication. So uh, as you can see, there is no extra communication cable or module. Uh, you have to install to the inverter. There is a PLC board in, integrated inside the inverter. So uh, as as an install as an installer, you can just uh, put all your AC cables on 
and then the, the data of the inverter collected and generated will be transmitted through the cables. Uh, but the data are encrypted in, in the process of transmission. And then it will need our SCB2000 smart communication box to decrypt the data. So the data can be transmitted to our to Goodway server or to, to Goodway server and then presented it on Sam's portal. Um, currently, uh, the example I'm showing is with H, Goodway HT series. For HT series, we have to use SCB 3000, but for Goodway MT series, you can use SCB 2000 series. Uh, SCB 3000 is, a, is an upgrade product uh, from the previous SCB 2000, and the communication is more stable and it can connect and support more devices. I mean, more inverters. The, the maximum distance uh, between the uh, between the last the the last inverters to the transformer is one one kilometers. Uh, but uh, as I said previously, no node shall be connected between inverter and the trans transformer because that would uh, interrupt the data the data transmission process between the inverters and the SCB 3000 or 2000. Uh, here is another question. Um, can we do module to module monitoring instead of screen level by Goodway inverters? Um, module to, uh, yes, we have a, uh, I, I just uh, want to answer this question. Um, yes, we have deep cooperation with Tygo a company. Tygo is a optimizer manufacturer. So if you have, if you have installed optimizer in your PV project, you can have module to module monitoring. We have a uh, solution with Tygo. Maybe we will introduce. You may contact us for later or we'll this uh, expand on this. And next, I'm um, introduce a uh, fiber opt optical communication uh, monitoring solution. So first, day, it is based on RS485 communication method. <clears throat> and as you can see from the diagram, uh, the inverter to our data, data logger, SCB1000, is through RS485. And uh, each SCB1000 can collect uh, up to 60 units of inverters. But if you have more inverters, then 60 units in one project or in just uh, in a whole big project, you can use several SCB1000 uh, to form a uh, commu communication ring solution. So as you can see, uh, if the link between this between these two uh, boxes are broken, but the data will be transmitted through this link to the uh, network exchanger. And, and this one will transmit from this link to the network exchanger. So that will double secure your, uh, double secure the data transmission process, will keep your data in safe box. And then PLC, yeah, PLC can have a very similar uh, solution. So as you can see, inverter to the SCB2000 is through power none. And, and there are different several uh, SCB2000 boxes and they all will form a ring. If one link is broken, the data can transmit it through another link. And also you can connect uh, other devices in, besides the inverters, like uh, coming, like weather station sensors through RS-485 cables. Okay, all the data 
uh, transmitted from the inverter then to a good way server and then to a good way platform are encrypted. Uh, the encrypting method is called AES128. So that encryption process will help us to provide a secured uh, or keep our all data secured in and the secured uh, they are secured in full link. So as you know, uh, the data won't be uh, interrupted or corrupted by hazardous data corruption. And uh, you can have the data, the data you actually want. So um, previously, I just uh, told all the solution uh, good way provides uh, with all good way products and good way platforms. Uh, you may wonder, I have, uh, I already have some data nuggets. I'm using uh, non good way pl monitoring platform. Can we just can we use good way inverters in the project? Of course, you can use. Uh, currently, our inverters support uh, compat commun communication compatibility with third-party uh, third device, data logger devices. Uh, actually, we have full compatibility with sonar knock uh, uh, material control data loggers, and the communication uh, achieved through SunSpec protocol and Modbus RTU protocol. And also, um, if you are using Goodway inverters, you are using Goodway uh, Goodway data loggers. Uh, you are using, you have your own uh, servers in your own monitoring platform. Then you can have the data exchanged uh, between different servers. Uh, the exchange is achieved by Open API. Uh, we can share this. Uh, document to any customer who are interested, but you have to sign, of course, you have to sign non disclosure agreement first with Goodway. And um, also, we support a SCADA system. So, uh, uh, what we Goodway provide is Goodway inverter and Goodway data logger. Then, the devices like power plant controller, Ethernet switch. Uh, I, I, they are actually depend on your own choice. Uh, and we are working on a, a double linked uh, data transmission transmission technology as well. Uh, very soon, we will, uh, in some cases, especially in European countries, um, some great companies are asking the owner of the PV plant to provide a specific link a secure the link uh, for the data control for the uh, for the data uh, access and also for uh, just the remote control to some, some to some uh, some to some functions <clears throat> and this link is achieved through RS485 method. And uh, as a customer, if you have uh, you are using the two way monitoring platform, of course you your monitoring is not interrupted by the great company. Uh, so I'm talking a lot about Sam's portal, but you may uh, if you are someone who are not familiar with Goodway Sam's portal, you may want to hear what I'm talking about. So Samsung monitoring platform, uh, we actually we have a great plan. Currently, we are used a it's called the Samsung portal, uh, and in the future we will have uh, separated uh, monitoring platforms for different applications and roles. We will have Samsung Home for residential PV plant, uh, and Samsung Industry for the PV plant with multiple sources of energy, uh, like energy storage uh, devices and batteries and uh, grid and uh, wind and electricity like that. So um, we have Samsung industry for such applications. And uh, we also have Samsung utility uh, platform. 
you know, Gateway is uh, developing HT series. HT is for uh, it weighs one hundred, one thousand five hundred DC input voltage, and and uh, the product the product will mainly be used in uh, utility scale project. So we will uh, to suit um, to come along with our HT series products. We will have some industry one term platform. And uh, currently, we are using a uh, we call it we just call it Sense Portal. We have on um, this is a platform. We have residential uh, PV plant. We have commercial uh, PV plant, and we also have energy storage plant. And what we are doing, we what we are doing on Sense Portal map, map monitoring platform is we are trying to have plant plant level monitoring, device level monitoring, and communication level plant monitoring. And the SAMS portal, uh, uh, the organization on SAMS portal is like a, a pyrogram. So on the top level is distributor, and, and then is donor, then owner, visitor, like that. Uh, all different roles have different uh, accesses and different authorities. So, and as different roles, they have different uh, uh, requirements on the same support. Then we are trying to uh, meet all the needs of all the roles and all our customers. Uh, Sans Portal is a great platform to secure the full access to all users, all of our customers. We currently have uh, 13 language options uh, besides English, uh, besides Chinese, uh, Chinese, English, we have Dutch, we have Deutsch, we have uh, French, we have Russian, like that. Uh, as the map shows, uh, Mm, I just uh, colored some parts of the word map, but actually it can cover all the parts of the grant because many people are using English and we have another 12 language options available. And I also have uh, four different servers in the, for different places. So uh, the customers in different places of the globe will have a stable access to SAMHSA portal. We have servers in Germany, we have uh, servers in Hangzhou, China, we have server in Hong Kong, uh, China, and we have server in Australia. And the North America uh, market is what we are working on, so we are planning to have a, a server in North America as well. So multi-language options and worldwide server allocation ensure for access to sense uh, users. So what SAMS monitoring plant monitoring looks like? Um, and when you have entered a monitoring page, um, I, I, you can have very comprehensive message info in just one page and you can just discover more uh, information by just click on next pages or just uh, some function buttons. First, uh, as I just mentioned before, I, it has plant level monitoring. So first, as you can see, uh, in this page, you, you will have the general info of your PV plant, including the uh, PV plant location, PV plant capacity, and the owner, etc. And uh, right on the right of the PV plant general info is PV operation status. As you can see, this plant is right now generating, and it is an energy storage plant, so uh, it shows the status of the battery as well. And then you may want to know the performance of the PV plant overall uh, performance. Then you will get the daily yield and the daily uh, income and the uh, accumulative uh, of the data of this plant. And then there are details of the PV plant. Uh, you can click the tabs, different tabs, you will get uh, 
different uh, message, different info, such like PV power, the generation PV power in different time periods. And uh, if you have node monitoring option activated, you will get the self-consumption uh, data, like how much energy you have uh, self-confused, consumed, and how much how much energy have been fed into the grid, how much energy your nodes have consumed in total or in separately. And then it will use some data. And all this data and the curve and the data and the diagram are able to export it. And then we, we come to the uh, device level monitoring. And so on the device level, a uh, first thing you will get is uh, is uh, operation status of the specific inverter. Um, you will get the current um, generation power and the total generation and the, the generation hours like that. And if you want to see more details of this inverter, you can just uh, click into it and you will get the diagrams in different time period and you'll get the income and performance of this PV plant. Also, you can get more deep data, like history data of this, this device in Excel form. All that data is uh, able to export. So next is our uh, main dashboard feature. Uh, as you can say, um, in the very center of the platform, you will, if you have many, uh, many uh, PV plant under your account, as you can see. Uh, the PV plant are shown in diagrams or just uh, in the list. So if you have just uh, several inverters, I mean, maybe the, the, the pictures will decrease, the number of pictures will decrease. But on the, on the both sides of the dashboard, uh, you will have six modules to display different info, like first day is PV schedule. You uh, means uh, uh, how many PV plants are uh, in with the system capacity no more than five kilowatts, and how many PV plants are more than uh, with the system capacity more than 100 kilowatts like that. And uh, also, it will displays the environment contribution. Means I uh, we built a PV plant not just for the income it brings to us. Also, we are looking for the communication to the environment, to our, to the earth it, itself. So as you know, in every every day of the energy our PV plant produce, uh, there is a price and there is worth. So uh, when you want to know. I mean, many of us would want to know uh, I am how much contribution our plants has contributed to the world, to, to a better environment. Also, you have another options to choose uh, what to display on the both sides of the six modules. Next is uh, we have customized the logos. Uh, currently, the dashboard uh, screen is shown good way sense portal. That, that's the logo. But you can choose into your own company logo. Or just to use your, just to upload a personal profile in the, from the system setting and you will have a totally different display. Just to make the dashboard the sense portal totally yourselves. And on the uh, on this side, I, it uh, tells your income and the the performance of your PV plant directly here. And if you want to show, want to have access to uh, other parts of some support tool, you can just uh, click uh, the bottom. So uh, Samsung monitoring is pro providing deep data. So first the data we provide is generation report. Um, if you have just the one PV plant, uh, there is generation report. You will get uh, monthly uh, generation report, daily or even uh, annually 
any uh, generation report or any specific time period you want to see the uh, generation, of course, you can just uh, uh, make your the report very your own. So the report are shown in histogram and they show in curve and uh, you can uh, show in list. So it is very uh, easy to, for you to see the overall performance of your PB plant or your PB plants. And also we provide the statistic analysis. Um, so if you have if you have many uh, PB plants in the same area, you want with the same system system capacity, you want to know which one is the best uh, performer and which one is the worst perform performer. You can just check the um, the statistics report, and then you will know which one you want. Uh, you want to just add add some investment, or which one you just uh, uh, remove from your list, or just uh, or moreover, you want to do some uh, improvement in your system design, or just uh, uh, upgrade into an energy storage system like that. It will help you to design. So and from and the. The previous me two reports and are uh, better for the uh, better for the owners for the uh, distributors, but for for the installer side, we also provide the history data of of the inverters in the uh, plant. So you can, if there is anything wrong with your PV plant, you and you have spent man, uh, much time to find uh, the cause of the problem and you cannot find it even after so much time consumed then you may want to know look into look into history data and find the answers uh, the history data will help you to locate the the problems of your uh, inverter in the plant and help you to find the possible cause uh, and possible solution to avoid or improve the system operation. Um, Note monitoring. Um, it is a very good uh, solution because uh, in many countries, like in, especially in Europe, um, some great company is asking customer to provide uh, <clears throat> the uh, the provide the. the proves the paper document to the great company. Uh, so they will check uh, how many energy they are buying from the uh, grid and how many energy are consumed by the grid uh, and how much energy are fed into the grid. So as you know, uh, the energy flow is dynamic. Sometimes we uh, buy energy from the grid and sometimes we just uh, uh, sell energy to the grid, but when the goes and comes, it will just uh, uh, may, in some point may, you may just uh, get a zero uh, uh, number zero uh, in the energy flow. But the grid company that does not think so. They want they want exactly when and how much energy are fed into the grid, uh, how much energy are fed. In buy from the grid, so they want specific data and specific time. So at this moment, uh, not monitoring is very important. It will help you to help the users to uh, to get to know uh, how much how much in uh, the consumption node of your uh, the com consumption pattern in your house or in your facility. But first, the solution requires a device. It's called node monitoring device. Uh, as you know, uh, in the PV system, uh, the current solution, most of the solutions uh, PV suppliers are providing is just for the PV system itself. It's not for the person, for the nodes in the facility. So with the extra node monitoring device, um, the device will get uh, will monitoring how much energy are coming to the to the grid and how much energy from the grid. Then you will be able to know 
and how much energy uh, your consumption, your node consumption is from the grid and how much are uh, from the uh, PV system. Then you may want to change your node consumption habits. For example, um, the price uh, in the daytime uh, is very, of electricity is very high. Then, but you usually use your washing machine in the daytime. Um, then, with the monitoring data, not monitor data, you may find it is not uh, economic. You want, you know, there is space for you to reduce the cost. Then, you may want to use a node monitoring solution. You may want to change uh, the time to use wa washing machine in the uh, in, into another time to just save your cost. So moreover, uh, with these data, uh, node monitoring data, you may reconsider if I need to upgrade the current uh, on-grid system into an energy storage system or whatever. So where to expand your system capacity. The, uh, all these data help you to do decisions. And SAMS monitoring platform, uh, as I just mentioned before, it is very friendly to our installers. Uh, because we have remote control and management function. We have alarm management system. Uh, with in the alarm system, all the message are sorted. Um, so they are sorted according to the uh, importance level, and they are sorted to the current status. So how it work, how it helps our installers, how maintenance team to do their work. First, if there is any errors coming up uh, inside the PV project, PV plan, and the data will be transmitted to the server and then to Goodway uh, monitoring platform. Any person in the office guy in who is watching this monitoring platform will receive this message and. Uh, the message will be transferred to the OM team to check the error. If if the error is will greatly impact the performance of the system, or just a minor error, just to ignore, and actually to save your time to do the series and of uh, save time to get the data. And we also have a, a project site monitoring solution. Uh, the first solution is uh, if your PV plant have installed weather station sensors, or and the data can uh, the, the data of weather station can be integrated into our SAMSA platform. So on the SAMSA platform, you will see the uh, for such data like uh, the irradiation, the temperature, and the Palo temperature and the wind direction, etc. If, as I uh, mentioned previously, we good way have a deep cooperation with Tygo. Uh, so if you, if there is any Tygo optimizers in, installed on the PV arrays, then you will get a module level monitoring. Uh, the module information will uh, be presented on some support. So with just the one platform, you can monitor your PV panels, your inverters, and the, and the weather station data. Um, what we, um, uh, very, 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 very soon, uh, I think in the mid-May, we will have a message center. Uh, this is a very good function for you to notify your generation report and if there is any errors coming up, you will get notification from your phone. So you do not have to open your computer, open your email every time you 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 just uh, came. The idea just came you came up to you that you may want to check uh, if there is anything wrong happens in your plant. So uh, if there is any uh, message come up you will get your notification on your mobile phone in real time. Uh, so we have platform, then we have multiple apps to help you, to help us to uh, 
set our PV system up and monitor our system. We have sooner go for uh, on-grid inverters to do set up, to do commi uh, commission commissioning. And we have a PV master for energy storage inverter to do communication. And we have Sam's portal app version. So you can use your, your app on your phone in, in any time, in any place. So that's all for my presentation. And, and we have a video to present to you how to uh, create a PV plant and how to manage multiple plants on SAMS. And then we have a, uh, a video to show how main dashboard looks like in real scenarios. Greg, can you open the video? Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Burajan from Goodwill Solar Academy. Today we are at Snake Exhibition in Shanghai and would like to introduce our monitoring system's best feature, main dashboard. With this feature, all of our customers, distributors and EPC company can show at the entrance of their office to demonstrate how many power plants they have installed and how many will be constructed in the future. It's also very useful for special projects like school so all children can see how many energy produced. Let's see how main dashboard looks like. Here we have location of your power plants, date and time, how many energy produced totally, and how many income you have earned. Also, there are six boxes to see all details about your power plants. So let's have a look how main dashboard works. In the main dashboard, you are able to change the logo at the middle and add your company's logo. Also, system logo is changeable. See, it's changed. By this way, interface will be look like more personalized. There are default settings like location, coefficient to environmental contribution, profit ratio, and how to display power plants. You can also change them to which location you want to show. See, it's changed to Adana, which is my hometown. There are six boxes at the main dashboard. Three of them are located at the left, and other three at the right side. You can choose what to display at these boxes. There are 14 options to choose, like plant ranking, power production, environmental contribution, and currency. Also, you can add the data of your under construction power plants and your future plants. Main dashboard can display them too, if you want. At the main dashboard, you can display more power plants and you can choose how to display, like in a list format or in a small boxes. Also, you can decide which plants you want to display. When you need more details about one individual plant, then just click it on and you'll access more details about it. There is also a carousel function. You can make rolling display on or off which shows to plant in a sequence for a period of time that you set. And change the displayed plants in time so you can be able to monitor all plants. At the main dashboard, it's very easy to see which plant has faults and stop producing. It makes you to take an action and solve the problem in a short time. These were the basic functions and features of the main dashboard. Best thing is, it's all free and always will be. If you have any questions, please contact us by following ways. And see you next time. And uh, before we play next video, I want to uh, you all know that we we will present a question and ask you a question, and then we will have a prize for the person who answered this question correct, correct.
Hello, I am Simone from Goodway Sona Academy. Welcome to watch our video about SAMS. SAMS is a smart energy management system designed for PV power plants. There are many great functions and features like data presentation, main dashboard, reports, alarms, etc. Today, I want to invite you to walk through the procedure with me and learn how to create and match plants on SAMS in a few minutes. The link of SAMS is www.samsportal.com. At this page, we can click on Demo to check example plans, which are for monitoring only. Here is language option. Now we have 11 different languages available. More options may also become available if there are new voices from the market. To use SAMS, I need a proper account. There are different ways for distributor, installer, and end customer to get their accounts. For example, as an installer, I should contact my distributor first and ask him to create the account. Then I will receive an email from SAMS, which includes my account name and temporary password. Here is my email. We should check on the first link to confirm and change my password as required. Okay, I've logged in, but the homepage is just empty. So next step, we need to create some plans. This is plant creation page. On the owner, we should put in the email address of the plant owner. If necessary, we can also add some visitor email to grant access to someone else. Then we will work on plant info part. There are a few items with red star mark, plant name, capacity, location, and profit ratio, which I have to enter in order to complete the process. Since I'm using my installer account to create plant for my customer, my installer code is here by default. Okay, everything is done and confirmed. We can click on Submit. We have created an empty plant. Next step, we will add device into it. The serial number and check code can be found on the inverter's label. If we have multiple inverters installed in the same system or multiple plants in different locations, you can just repeat the previous steps. Plant creation is done. Let's check out how to monitor our plants. We are back to home page again. The four blocks demonstrate the overall picture of the plants under my account including plant performance and status. For example, these four different colors tell four different plant status. Green means plant offline, green in normal status. Moreover, I can rank my plants according to their capacity or generation. It can display plants in different classification by selecting residential, commercial rooftop, or ground mounted. Even more convenient and quicker, 
I can locate specific plant using search function, such as plant name and serial number. This is my plant. I click on the name and enter into single plant page. This part is basic info, including capacity and location of the plant. This part demonstrates real-time status, generation and income of this plant. Then there are curves, charts, and export about data, which can give us more details of the plant performance. Let's move to the devices in this plant. From here, we are able to know inverted operation status, today's generation, general parameters, AC outputs, and DC inputs. When I click on curve, we can see more operation details of this inverter over a period of time. In addition, I can export the data for future reference. This inverter is offline right now. Let's check it on Alarms page. At this page, all plants in arrow status are listed here. When I click on details, we can find which inverter in which plant has what arrow during what time. Plus, these arrows are arranged according to the warning level and status. We can also find analysis of the occurrence of such error and get troubleshooting advices and more details as well. Another basic but great function is reports, which includes historic data, generation reports, and statistics. At the end of this video, I guess you all have a basic view of how SAMS looks like and how it works. But there are more functions and features expecting us to discover, such as organization management, auto device detection, node monitoring, and weather station monitoring, etc. Do you have any questions after watching this video or any good idea on what should come next? Comment here or contact us directly. See you next time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for attending. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.